Hi and welcome to Car Mechanical and today I'm going to take you through how to set up VADCOM or VCDS Lite. Now I'm assuming you've got and downloaded the software but I will put the link in the description below and that you already have one of the cables you need to get going. So if we move into my car I'm going to show you how to plug the ODB2 cable in. Now the location will vary but mine is just below the centre console. I'm just going to plug the ODB2 cable in there. I need my laptop running so I've got an old laptop so I need to plug my inverter in. So we're going to plug that in and then I'm going to plug the USB cable into what is my COM1 and I'm going to come back to COM1 later. I'm going to turn the laptop on and just to note if you are using an inverter you might just want something like that. You can pick these up for 10 to 20 pounds. So moving over then straight into VCDS Lite we're going to test the COM1 connection and that should come back and say that it's working fine and it's happy and it's excellent which is great. However, a lot of people don't get that working like it should do. Just to show you what you should see if it works, you should be able to go into your engine block, you should be able to have a look at your measuring blocks, and you should be able to get some information out of there, live data from the car. So you can see I've got my uh, engine speed there, I'm seeing readings from the mass air sensor, and I'm also seeing here uh, results from the engine for how much fuel it's requesting. Now, not everyone has the same join set in fact come up. So if I click on my COM3 here, it's going to come back and it's going to pass, but it's going to tell you that things are slow. Now, for whatever reason on my laptop, COM3 is a ghost setup for whatever reason. Something is telling the laptop that it has a COM3, and it doesn't work when you try to use it. COM1 is what I've set up for my USB port, and if I test that, it comes back with the excellent pass, and I can just click OK to that. Once you get a pass, you click Save, and you can go into the modules. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring up the device manager and I'm going to go into the USB settings because if you find this, you're going to have to go into your USB settings and you're going to have to change over the COM number because of the COM number I did have set up was COM port 9 for when I plugged the USB cable in. What that means is when you are in VAGCOM, it only lets it connect to COM 1, COM 2, COM 3 or COM 4. Well, COM 3 was the wrong one. It's some kind of weird you know, ghost setup. So I'm going to go to the settings you see on screen here. We're going to go to the advanced USB settings and we're going to change the COM number over. So mine's already set, but you can see 3, 4 and 1 are in use. So if I wanted to, I could set it to 2. I'm going to leave it as 1, but that's what you need to do to get VCDS working. Now hopefully that video has been helpful and you can now use VADCOM or VCDS Lite. However, if you hit the subscribe button and you come back and check for more videos, I'm going to do videos on login issues on using AutoScan to pick up the codes and then how to decipher those codes and figure out what's really going on with the four codes. As always, thank you for watching and if there is any other content you'd like to see, please leave a comment in the description below.